This is the story of the Jambos. Six superheroes use music to enable Earthlings to take back the power to think and act for justice against the Alties, the worldwide order of villains controlled by the Gigatron genome. From parts unknown, the Gigatrons came and entered the galaxy as a family of creatures who were consumed by instant gratification in every possible way, solely for the sake of their own well-being and their perpetuation of their species, resulting in the destruction of everything of value in this galaxy. It took the forces of nature to come together to annihilate them and all other life in the galaxy in order to make a brand new start. But miraculously, two creatures survived and remained in seclusion on planet Earth in the land of Boo. It took billions of years for life to return to the galaxy by way of dust storms and meteors coming from all the other solar systems. During the many billions of years of seclusion, the two creatures, Nam and Jojinka, grateful to be alive, evolved into invisible and shape-shifting compassionate creatures. And after completing millions of years of meritorious work around the universe, they became enlightened and lost all but a trace of the Gigatron genome while morphing into Buons. After realizing they were immortal, Nam and Jojinka make a vow to protect all living things by bringing out the best of them and develop the eye of wisdom to truly see and protect themselves from themselves, the root of all evil and the source of all goodness. They know that they were stained by their past and even while invisible or seen in any of their forms, the newly emerging creatures of Boo and elsewhere would not accept their guidance. So knowing that something happens when creatures put things together with the intention of making sound in an organized pattern for communication, they embed a mystic component into this mixture so that when this creature produced sound is heard, a doorway to the soul opens and this new sound penetrates and reveals the true nature of their lives. They name this new sound Abuse, which later becomes known as music. The two Buons, Nam and Jojinka, discover that many of the dust storms carry with them molecules of the Gigatrons and the DNA of all humans would be infiltrated by these invisible marauders. Fortunately, the Gigatron gene remains dormant unless awakened by internal and external influences, and when this occurs, only the power of Abuse can suppress and defeat them. Knowing the vast scope of this reality, Nam and Jojinka realize they need to have a greater presence to effectively nurture and protect the ever-increasing diverse population on Earth. So they create six human-like creatures that they call their Jambos as guardians for the land of Boo and planet Earth. If they can enable the Earthlings to control and defeat the Gigatron genome on Earth, the rest of the galaxy will be safe. Using their special powers, the six Jambo embryos are implanted in the wombs of mothers on six continents around the world, unbeknownst to the mothers, and take on the appearance of their surrogate parents to be raised as Earthlings in those different societies. At birth, the six brothers and sisters are all gifted with superpowers and are well versed in every aspect of life with an understanding of the ways of the world. Their mission is to foster positive energy and endure the delusion that they see returning that caused the past annihilation of life in the galaxy. When they reach the age of nine, Earth years, something extraordinary happens. For the next 20 years, one by one they stop growing. Every three years, except for a male named Ajari, who stops at the age of 28. 
during this suspension of time, they begin to understand their role to take on the mission of Nam and Jojenka and implement it at every stage of human development. They master the skill of controlling their superpowers to manipulate, program, and control anything that is exposed to music through the sense organs of mind, touch, taste, smell, sight, and sound, while harnessing all of the elements of air, fire, earth, and water. Only the Jambos with their unique powers are able to send Abuse into the senses of all earthlings to suppress and defeat the Gigatron genome. The Jambos, using the cloak of invisibility and shape-shifting, operate separately while traveling all around the globe for thousands of years, influencing the thinking and senses of all the great thinkers, composers, teachers, and performers from all the continents of ancient and modern times to fight the resurgence of the Gigatron gene. People like Gabriel, Pythagoras, Beethoven, Tchaikovsky, Pavarotti, and Paganini, Johnson, Armstrong, Ellington, Parker and Holliday, Charles, Diddley and Berry, Presley and Hendrix, Jobim and Cruz, Franklin and Jackson, Tupac and Gaga. However, all of this comes at the price of Nam and Jojinka remaining in Boo as conduits of their millions of years of ancestral knowledge, meritorious work, and enlightenment for the young 5,000-year-old Jambos to draw upon. Throughout history, and despite the efforts of the Jambos over the course of thousands of years, the Gigatron genome becomes extremely hyperactive in some unfortunate earthlings and who in modern times have come together to form a secret society known to each other as the Altes and began an ongoing insidious systematic subjugation and terrorizing of the people through the worldwide corruption of the houses of worship, mega corporations, banks, and their tainted government forces, enabling institutionalized racism and pollution of the air and water, globalization, deforestation, destruction of the rainforest, global warming, infiltration of the food supply with a proliferation of nutrient deficient foods grown fast, big, and cheap, loaded with pesticides and growth hormones produced by big agribusiness and the livestock industrial complex that create a need for the medical pharmaceutical complex to provide research and treatment for perpetual health care, but no prevention. Street drugs are pumped into demonized communities to provide a foundation for the criminalization and incarceration of its people to further destroy their families and disenfranchise their communities, leaving them ripe for harvesting by the military and the prison industrial complex. The Audi's ultimate plan is to turn the population of the world into human livestock. Their weapons of choice are divide and conquer with music as a tool to distract and control. This conglomerate of Audi members is so powerful that the Jambos come together for the first time under the guidance of the oldest Jambo, Ajari, who while living in Africa had grown to a staggering height of nine feet tall and weigh over 600 pounds. He had to grow another head that he called Nadi, which he sent to Antarctica in order to hold the overflow of his vast knowledge. Only the Jambos who hold the key to the mystic elements of Abuse are able to nullify the Audi produced music and reprogram the infected population of Earth. A normal life in society is impossible for Ajari, so his base of operation is set up in the remotest region of Africa, where he never moves from his throne while using his superpowers to provide sustainability. Under his direction, his brother and sister Jambos, Miyuki from Asia, 
and Congo from Australia, along with Mita from South America, Aurora from Europe, and Sube from North America, unify their superpowers and use all of the arts to instill wisdom and undo the illusion and corruption that is spread throughout the world by the Alvins and enable humans to take back the power to think and act for justice. Nadi has no body and is just a large transparent head full of brains that collects and stores the knowledge past, present, and future that Ajari collects from all over the universe for the Jambos to interface with at any time. The Jambos mystically connect with all creatures and keep track of the Gigatron genome's status in order to come to the aid of Earthlings when the genome becomes active. 